We wrote Trump, Pence, among other things. Uh, of course, we included his rhetoric. There was not a pleasant reaction for that. I saw a lot of tweets directed at that, like saying, F whoever did this. Big thing is like a lot of people really didn't want to understand. They just wanted to react. I mean, on Facebook, I got a bunch of not nasty comments. Like I find them pretty funny. Um, being called racist, xenophobic, misogynist, and I'm just like, geez, like, it kind of, those words kind of lost their value. It was like really geared toward a political candidate that like really supports very like racist and negative viewpoints. Um, and like a lot of students, especially students of color, were really affected by it. It was just like really gross that people thought it was like okay to do that. But the idea that someone just really wanted to make a really broad statement saying that feminism is cancer, really just either they don't understand what feminism is like as a concept, and instead of like trying to have a conversation about it, wanted to just make a statement. That was one thing I didn't want to write. I mean, yes, it's an idea. Like, I do not like the idea of feminism, and I do find that rhetoric kind of kind of funny. But uh, I didn't want to have that because it didn't really fit with the narrative or that we were going with with the chalkings. I mean, yeah, that wasn't a good good idea, and we've definitely learned from that that it's not a great conversation starter. I think right now the start is sustained dialogue. I mean, sustained dialogue is really being pushed um, by the deans, by the student body, because the point is literally to get people who would never really dialogue, would never really have discussions because they're on different, they have different viewpoints on subjects and bringing them together. What we need to do is just create an, a culture on campus where it's okay to be comfortable with it's okay to be comfortable in discomfort.